My name's Rob Hopkins and I'm the author of the Transition Handbook from Oil Dependency to Local Resilience and this is a litre of oil. Oil has become the lifeblood of how we feed, entertain and house ourselves. Indeed it's what makes our modern lifestyles possible. This bottle of motor oil contains energy equivalent to my working hard physically for about five weeks. And any time you go to a garage and fill your tank with 40 litres of petrol, you're putting into that car energy equivalent to about four years hard human manual labour, all for £50. And many experts argue that we're now entering the end of the age of cheap oil, what we call peak oil, the point beyond which world oil production enters a terminal decline. And that, coupled with the climate change agenda, which argues that really the best place for this is to stay in the ground, means that we need to rethink a number of very basic assumptions about how we live in this century. Central to the transition handbook is the concept of resilience. And resilience is an idea which emerges from the study of ecology, which is that a, a system, whether it be an ecosystem, a community, or a town, when it experiences a shock from the outside, it doesn't just fall to pieces. It has built into it the ability to adapt and change to its new circumstances. In the UK in the year 2000, when the lorry drivers went on strike, we were about two days away from a food crisis in this country because it became clear that we've dismantled a lot of the resilience that has underpinned our food system up until now and replaced it with very fragile long supply chains. Behind me here in the centre of Totnes in Devon is a car park, a landscape you'll see up and down the country. But this car park was, until 1980, a commercial market garden. A series of glass houses filled this car park behind me here and they grew fruit flowers and vegetables which were supplied then through a shop on the high street. So really when we often hear this term food miles, what we had here in Totnes up until then was a system of food feet. And as our globalised economy and its long supply chains becomes increasingly unfeasible, local solutions like this will increasingly come to the fore. And I would argue that walking to work in the morning through this as a commercial market garden, people coming and going things growing would be a far more enjoyable way to start the day and a far richer uh, contribution to our urban fabric than just a bog standard car park. Welcome to the office of Transition Town Totnes. Transition Town Totnes is the UK's first transition initiative uh, and it was unleashed is the term that we use in September last year. We used to use the term transition towns to describe all of these projects but the whole process is growing so quickly that it's no longer a useful term that we're now also looking at transition cities, transition villages, transition islands and peninsulas and so on. So really we use this term transition initiatives now to describe the bigger scale of what's happening. So what is a transition initiative? Well, um, it's basically a process which acts as a catalyst within a community for, to get people to explore themselves responses to peak oil and climate change. So and it comes from a position of trying to develop a really attractive, enticing vision of how the town could be beyond its current dependence on, on oil and fossil fuels. So it's based on a very simple premise, which is that the future with less oil could be preferable to the present if we can engage with enough imagination, creativity and adaptability in that process. There's no reason why the imagination and ingenuity that got us up to the top of the peak in the first place is going to disappear when we have to start working out how we're going to get down the other side. So uh, the, this process here in Totnes has, has been very dynamic since it was unleashed in 2006. Some of the things that have come out of it are things like the Totnes Pound, which is the local currency system that we've set up. That's £20, please. Take Totnes Pounds? Yes, of course. Of course. That's 10 in ordinary, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20 pounds please take Totnes pounds yes of course that's 10 in ordinary 1 2 3 4 and 10 that's great thank you very much. Things like the, the Totnes local food directory, which lists all the local producers and places that sell local food. Uh, we've started a project called Totnes, the nut tree capital of Britain, which is about planting nut trees within the urban fabric of the town, both as awareness raising issue and also as a food security uh, project. Uh, we've been doing work in local schools through the Transition Tales project, which is about working with young people to get them visioning to what life beyond oil could be like. We run a series of talks and open space community think tank days. And recently, as a sister project to Transition Town Totnes, we saw the launch of TRESOC, the Totnes Renewable Energy Society, which is a community investment organisation where people can invest money to start putting in place renewable energy infrastructure. So change need not be a, a hair shirt 
exercise. It can be something which is exhilarating, has a feel of being a historic process and is a collective call to adventure. And We often use the term that what transition initiatives are about is unlocking the collective genius of the community to explore these questions. The Transition Handbook is available from Green Books, all good bookshops and from www.transitionculture.org.